Okay, ladies and germs, welcome back. This is Andy Chen. Thank you for joining me at such a late hour. This is the uh, loser side finals between Francisco Bustamante and Santos Sambahon Jr. Single race to five. The winner of this match will move on to the finals to play Efren in one single race to nine. Definitely everybody here left in the tournament, the three Filipinos. This is essentially a free roll for them at this point. Well, it's not a free roll, but they're just going to have a good time. Play as relaxed. Relaxed as they can. I don't think it's bad if you stroke like Francisco, as long as it works. Controlled bank. That was a very difficult shot. And he got shape on the nine. What a very nice out.
these guys aren't considered world champions for no reason. That's for sure. Bustamante now leads one game to zero, up to break. Comes out dry and leaves a wide open shot for Santos. Looked like he got a little too careful and hit it a little bit too full.
Bustamante now has a 2-0 lead in this race to five. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm not being super talkative at this time. There's really not much to be said about these guys at this point. We all know how good they play. We're down to the final three players. Just give yourselves a little eye candy. Enjoy the show. This is Andy Chen on the stream, and I've been joining you guys here on the stream since uh, 8.30 this morning. It's almost 1, so I've been here a little while. No, I did not play in the tournament. I don't think I'd be able to handle running a stream and competing at the same time. It'd be a little crazy. Jay Bravo, I did not boot you. That's not my job right now. If you did get booted, there was probably a reason for it. I have no idea what you said. I wasn't even paying attention to the chat room, so I trust the judgment of my fellow mods in this chat room. Whatever it is, because I didn't see it. We just try to keep... Uh, Keep this room PG-13. I guess we can do R minus the cuss words if you really want. Maybe PG-16. Either way, don't go to me in regards to uh, getting booted. Technically, I am a player, and my last name is Chen, C-H-E-N. One of these days, I'll find a way to play a tournament if I don't have to work. Spanky, I think, is taking a little break. He's uh, out getting getting some late night dinner. Yes, Chen, C H E N. Not C H I N. That's actually Joey, who played uh, Bustamante last night.
if you look in the videos that have been pre-recorded from last night, you can probably find Joey Chin playing against Francisco. These guys would have to give me the break and the three out. I might be able to keep up with them. Maybe eight games to ten. Then I have a shot. Not the break in last three. I said the break and the three out. And eight games to ten. That's the least Efren can do for me. I would actually not mind taking the weight that Francisco gave Dippy Dave back in Vegas, which was the breaks, ball in hand, the four ball, and the last four, and 20 games going to 38. I'll take that any day, because then I actually have a chance. Dippy's name is uh, Dave, yeah, there you go, Dave Pete. It's the break, ball in hand, the four ball, and the last four, and 20 going to 38, except I'll take 20 going to 25. That's just me. play mostly out of Mr. Lucky's and Torrance House of Billiards and uh, in Santa Monica and Hard Times Bellflower so uh, floating around between those three rooms depending on my mood uh, OC Grow I've been there three times uh, every time I was there you've been there Dak I do give lessons, actually. I charge $40 an hour, and I'll give you lessons on how to not shoot like me. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good lesson. Hey, I'm just trying to make an honest living. $40 an hour I don't think is ex expensive. Because I'm teaching you everything that you're not supposed to do. It's not like I'm cheating you guys out of your money. All that scratch off the break is no good. Somewhat open. <laughs> Francisco just told their friend to shut up.
I'm just kidding. I don't give any lessons. I will give you lessons on what not to do for 40 an hour, but I don't give pool lessons per se. I'm still a student of the game myself. Tom's got that right. We've got, uh, it looks like, three one-pocket games going on. That's why it sounds so quiet, because you don't hear breaks off of uh, other tables. Everybody, while Tom's still on the chat, give him a round of applause for helping out running the tournament. You guys did a really good job. And if it wasn't, wasn't for you guys, we'd be here till tomorrow. Bank. I think he's probably going to go two rails, play the six in the bottom left, or not. Don't listen to me. Interesting. Tester for Francisco. Spears it in.
Francisco now up four games to one on the hill. It's a testing spot shot is what it is. So we will most likely have yet another clash of the Titans, Francisco and Efren in the finals again. Let's see if uh, somehow we can get Francisco to win in the second set. Just to make things interesting. How many viewers in comparison to which, what's set? <laughs> ah. Yeah, I don't think so. We had 256, I think was our high. And um, it is late. It's already 1 in the morning here in California. 4 in the morning on the East Coast. It is Sunday, so... I don't think that... We'll have more viewers than last time, but yes, I am I am quite content with uh, the turnout. So thank you everybody for sticking around with us. You guys will be in for a treat. I think it's worth it to lose a few hours of sleep to watch this live. That's that's the whole beauty of it. It's all happening live, not pre-recorded on YouTube or something like that. Alright guys, well Efren takes the uh takes the set. 